I am Chris Gaylor. And I'm Amber Fast Funkaging Cosplay. And today we're back again with you guys with Sherlock Holmes. You guessed Sherlock. it. You guessed it! I have my hat too! <laughs> You're said, a do stalker. I know. I knew I was I said I was gonna have one by the end of the show. I wasn't expecting to have one so soon, but I did! So there you go. I'm so happy I have it now, so I'm gonna wear it. Uh yeah, what happened last episode? Well, we were introduced to Mary. Yes. The one that Watson is so in love that he has to to marry him. Yes. According to the thumbnail here, it looks like the wedding is gonna happen. So... Woohoo! <laughs> Watson almost ended up burned to... A crisp. To the bones. There is a new player in town. Someone that we, have, we haven't seen the face yet, but uh, they were testing Sherlock, trying to see what he was gonna do to save Watson, so he already knows what the weakness is here. Sure. Uh, Watson is a weakness for sure. But yeah, Sherlock is back. Brought to life. Back to life, sorry. Mm -hmm. Everyone was pretty happy. Even Watson. Kicked him a oh, little yeah. bit, but uh, oh, yeah. yeah, he's happy. So back in business, baby. Let's see what uh, the, the duo does next. And uh, if everything goes well. <laughs> Let's go. All right. BBC! <laughs> We've got the tunnel entrance covered and Davis Miller and Christie are heading up on response on Macking Road. Sorry, I better get this. It's him, isn't it? <laughs> it says glory day. <laughs> oh. I, I, I have to go. What? You make the arrest. No way. Sorry, you'll be fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with us. James will get all the credit if you leave now. You know he will. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I'll have to go. He said please! <laughs> he never Sherlock says never please! Said, yeah, if you like ask for help, I hope it's something you did. This is hard. What? Really hard. Hardest thing I've ever had to do. Do you know any funny stories about John? <laughs> You're kidding me! You're kidding me! What? For that! I need anecdotes. Didn't have any trouble, did you? Oh my god! It was his day! Oh. <laughs> For him to say please, he thought it was gonna be huge. Oh, he called everyone! He's like, for, for him to call me for help, it's probably huge! Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go, I wanna get this shot. The newly weds. Just the bride and groom, please. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> But no sex, okay? Sorry. You don't have to look so scared. I won't even ask it. Bridesmaid, best man, it's a bit traditional. <laughs> Is it? Not obligatory. Many people sort of do it, yeah. Van Bruns, your best friend. Recently divorced doctor with the ginger cat. <laughs> the bone conversion. The history of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> You're going to be incredibly useful. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend, I guess. She's planning on having wedding sex. He's gonna help her choose with who. <laughs> David! Oh, congratulations, you look um, very nice. Thanks. John, I'm not playing with me. I'm not. Um, David, this is Sherlock. Um, yeah, we've, um, we've met. Really? What exactly are my duties as an usher? Let's talk about Mary first. So what? Oh, I think you know what. He did an investigation on her. Whenever she tweets, you respond within five minutes, regardless of time or current location, suggesting you have her own text alerting on your Facebook photographs of the happy couple Mary takes into frame. Most John is always partly or entirely excluded. <laughs> I'm assuming from that I've still got some kind of interest in Mary. You volunteered to be a shoulder to cry on no less than three separate occasions. Do you have anything to say in your defense? <laughs> You're a Bloody psychopath. High functioning sociopath. <laughs> Different. With your number. <laughs> oh, that smile! <laughs> That's why the long hands are psychic, I guess. What? Mary tried to give him a hug and he and was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, wow. Is that. He came. Maybe he's. Uh, his captain? captain, yeah. So that's him. This is Major Schulte. Uh huh. Why does he barely even mention him? He mentions him all the time to me. He never shuts up about him. About him? Mm -hmm. oh, 
I chose this wine. It's bloody awful. This was definitely him that he talks about. Mm -hmm. Very, very glad to see you. So, I never talked about him to Sherlock, though. You don't really do this sort of thing. Well, I do for old friends, Watson. Where are you living these days? Oh, way out in the middle of nowhere. You wouldn't know it. I didn't think he'd show up at all. John says he's the most unsociable man he's ever met. He is. He's the most unsociable. <laughs> That's why he's bouncing around him like a puppy. <laughs> oh, Sherlock. Neither of us were the first, you know. Stop smiling. It's my wedding day. <laughs> <laughs> she likes him. <laughs> Oh my god. I prefer their relationship in the show than I did in the movie, because in the movie she Different she sped time. up. Yeah. Bring silence for the best man. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> oh, please show I Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and um, others. 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 <laughs> Oh my gosh. Didn't write anything? Uh, also, I think he did, but it's not. <clears throat> first things first, telegrams. Well, they're not actually telegrams. We just call them telegrams. I don't know why. Wedding tradition. <laughs> oh my god. Because we don't have enough of that already, apparently. To Mr. and Mrs. Watson, so sorry I'm unable to be with you on your special day. Good luck and best wishes, Mike Stanford. Uh, to John and Mary, all good wishes for your special day with love and many big, big squishy cuddles many from Stella and Ted. <laughs> Mary, lots of love. Yeah. Pop it. <laughs> Oodles of love and heaps of good wishes. Having him from read Cam. this. Wish your family could have seen this. Love, 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 love. Bit of a theme you get the general just people are basically fond. John Watson. <laughs> this friend, dude. John Watson. <laughs> when John first broached the subject of being best man, I was confused. Shall I? What's that noise downstairs? I was Mrs. Hudson laughing. So oh. she was torturing an owl. Busy? <sighs> Just occupying myself sometimes. It's so hard not smoking. Uh -huh. Mind if I interrupt? That would be my guest. So, <clears throat> the big question. Mm -hmm. The best man. The best man. What do you think? Gavin. Who? Gavin Lestrade. He's a man and good at it. It's Greg. Greg. <laughs> and he's Greg. Nope. Oh, Mike Stanford. I see. Well, he's nice. Um, no, not you, sure he buddy. Well, Mike's great, but he's not my best friend. You. You can be so clueless. <laughs> I confess, confess, I didn't realize he was asking me when finally I understood. I expressed to him that I was both flattered and surprised. He blacked out. Additionally, I thanked him for the trust he placed him in, indicated that I was, in that. some ways, very close to being moved by. <laughs> oh. He was so touched. He doesn't get it. That's going to be scary now. So, um, in fact... I'm your best man. Uh -oh. Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> of course. You're my best friend. <laughs> Only your best friend? There's, an, an, eye there. There's an eye in there! Oh, shit! <laughs> what the hell was that? Surprisingly okay. <laughs> <laughs> A wedding is, in my considered opinion, nothing short of a celebration of all that is false and specious and irrational and sentimental in this ailing and morally compromised world. Today we honor the death watch beetle that is the doom of our society and in time one feels certain our entire species. Jesus Christ. Please tell me you have something else. But... But anyway, let's talk about John. Please. <laughs> If I burden myself with a little helpmate during my adventures, it is not out of sentiment or caprice. It is that he has many fine qualities of his own that he has overlooked in his obsession with me. Indeed, any reputation I have for mental acuity and sharpness comes in truth from the extraordinary contrast John so selflessly provides. The point I'm trying to make is that I am the most 
unpleasant, rude, ignorant, and all-round obnoxious asshole that anyone could possibly have the misfortune to meet. So if I didn't understand I was being asked to be best man, it is because I never expected to be anybody's best friend. And certainly not the best friend of the bravest and kindest and wisest human being I have ever had the good fortune of knowing. Aww. John, I am a ridiculous man. Yeah. Redeemed only by the warmth and constancy of your friendship. But as I am apparently your best friend, I cannot congratulate you on your choice of companion. Actually, now I can. Mary, when I say you deserve this man, it is the highest compliment of which I am capable. You have endured war and injury and tragic You're loss. You're gonna make him cry. So sorry again about that last one. <laughs> so know this, today you sit between the woman you have made your wife and the man you have saved. In short, the two people who love you most in all this world. And I know I speak for Mary as well when I say we will never let you down and we have a lifetime ahead to prove that. <laughs> oh my god! It's not it's so weird and wrong and, and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Uh, yes. Now onto some funny stories about John. No, you should probably stop here. What's wrong? What happened? Why are you all doing that, John? Oh shit! Did I do it wrong? Did I do it wrong? Come on! I'm not gonna. Oh, you are. Oh god! He keeps trying to read it. Oh, that was good. You could all just tear up a bit. That would. He doesn't understand why they're all crying. So for funny stories, one has to look no further than John's blog. We've tackled some strange cases. The hollow client. <laughs> and of course, I have to mention the elephant in the room. An actual <laughs> elephant in the room. But we want something very particular for this special day. <laughs> Don't we? The bloody guardsman. <laughs> 